this is Haunted School back again with another video and this is probably going to be the last predictions video that I make of the season solely because the previews are will likely be started next month so we won't really have enough time between the previews and um, obviously predictions so we might as well uh, head on with this. This one, um, yet again, one I really love doing, it is my predictions for Asda. As you all know, Asda are a um, big supermarket in the UK and very well known for their Halloween range and uh, as they branch off from Walmart in the US and they always bring a range of Halloween stuff like no other. Um, sadly, last year was very disappointing, um, especially for the life-size scarecrow. Uh, a lot of us were kind of ticked off about that. But fingers crossed they have listened to us fans as a community and are able to make some changes to that this year. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over my predictions for Asda this year. Um, I've, had a, I've had a deep look at some of the, a lot of the items that were sold in the US, such as Big Lots, Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. Um, and um, put, the, put into mind um, the, cat, the types of theming, also the family friendly side, which Asda do incorporate a lot, and also the companies that they usually import from. So such as Pan-Asian Creations, SBI, um, or I only just started um, importing from SBI actually. Yeah I'd, yeah, I'd read to say it for last year's Life Size, also Sunstar. Just like the range predictions video, I'm gonna start from small props to big props, and then I'll do um, a bit about theming as well. And so yeah, let's head to it. So first off is tabletop items. These are items that you mainly go for obviously if you're not into buying life sizes or smaller items or if you just want something um, something small that will have a nice extra feature to your horns. Um, Asda are usually very good at that and we have a couple of ones that I think are, are very possible here. We've got this snake candelabra, we've got this uh, skeleton in a cage which is similar to the locks at Lenny that we had a couple of years ago. I think these were sold at Lowe's last year. This dancing skeleton right here is very similar to ones we've seen before. It could be entirely possible, once again. We've got some Medusa busts, which I'd really like to see back. I know B&M sold them in 2014 and they're absolutely amazing. Looks like the US has started to see a new version of that. Um, we've got to add a doll prop in there because as to do like selling doll props, we've got this uh, peekaboo doll, which I think is very similar to one we've had a couple of years ago now. Um, but yet again, they do like to sell different little dolls every year and people do like to build a collection of them. This design of a heads-up doll would also be pretty cool to see as well, as I did love that one from 2020. Something I'd really like to see is Asda always do some kind of haunted homeware item, whether it's like a haunted TV or the haunted camera they had a couple of years back as well. So I'd love to see these spell books, which kind of just like uh, one of them tips out, uh, out, out of the row of books. It'd look great on a bookshelf, or at least in a witch theme. And last but not least, we have this animated pumpkin, which I think is probably the least um, likely one because I don't think it is made by any of the companies that Asda import from. But it looks really cool regardless, and right up, uh, right up, right up Asda's alley. This one and the last two doll props, I'm pretty sure, were sold at Home Depot. Things I've got to bring up then are licensed items once again. Very popular range every year it has proved to be and um yeah this year hope, fingers crossed isn't any difference so i'm going to start with nightmare before christmas stuff i'd love to see more of these pumpkins i think we've seen the sally one in the uk last year at sainsbury's uh we've also got this light projection jack skeleton pumpkin which would be great at asda i think and the hanging props as well um i know we've had jack last year at asda i'd also love to see zero the big version of zero and oogie boogie like hopefully some stores actually sell these guys this year because i really want to complete that collection of the large nightmare before christmas hanging props next items i'm going to bring up then are the haunted mansion items as you can see here here is the madam leader tombstone i really love this one of my favorite tape one of my favorite items from the us last year i've also got this haunted mansion sign which i love love the lighting effect on that it looks so, so, has such goffy vibes about it you got this spirit ball this madam leota spirit ball once again um i think i predicted that last year i think this would be one of the top items in the uk if if anywhere sold this to be honest last but not least i'd love to see some hocus pocus items hit as to this year because um, the second movie obviously came out on Disney Plus last year and it was really good and I'd love to see love to see more items from it to be honest. I think um, one of the stores in the UK, I think it might have been Poundland, already touched on uh, some items um, and I'd love to see uh, more to be honest. 
Moving on to medium sized props then. These are props that um, we all love um, because they're great, great for greeting people and are usually around £25 and up at Asda. Um, first I want to start off with the plaques. I hope, hope we do get these in some shape or form this year. We've got the pumpkin one and the tombstone one which I actually did pick up last year and it's absolutely amazing. I just need, I will get a review out of my channel at some point on that. Now, two three foot standing props that I think are possible. you got this doll right here which is from which was sold at Home Depot, I think it was last year. And you may be thinking this does take the scarier route of, of items, but when you look at what Morrison's had last year, we had a face shifting doll, which used phrases from uh, two very scary spirit Halloween props. You never know, this could be possible. And last but not least, I want to see them sell an animated tray holder prop. Um, as you know, last year we had two very, very good ones. We had the mummy from Wilco and we had the clown from Morrison's. I think both of them are very good props at great prices at around £25 each, I think it was, or £30, I don't remember exactly, but and maybe they could use a unique character in this style as well, such as a reaper, or a vampire, even a zombie. Now, probably the part you've all been waiting for in this video, the life-size prop. So, as they usually have a life-size prop at a great price at around uh, 50 pounds and it's usually um, pretty good quality compared to other stores or at least what it's been excluding last year um, So I'm gonna go over what I think are my predictions and um, what, what are most possible Starting off as usually as to like to have life-size witch props I'm gonna throw this one out there. I think she's very possible um, And I don't think um, she'd come over the price point as well We've also got this Grim Reaper, which I really like the look of, actually, and I think it sold at Minards last year. And um, it resembles the 2016 Reaper quite a bit, such as the face and appearance. And uh, I'd really like to see a Reaper back again, to be honest. And once again, a prop I want to throw out there that I predicted last year, the, this animated monster that I sold at Home Depot. I really would love to see this guy make it to the UK, as we need, we're in desperate need of seeing a monster life-size Halloween prop. And last but not least, um, as, all, as all of these have been Pan-Asian creation props, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm going to put this out there with, with uh, being a possibility of there being a butler prop. That would actually be quite cool, um, especially one like this guy here. Now I have to mention, uh, if we do happen to get a prop from the dreaded S-word, aka Sunstar, um, hopefully it is something that actually looks good for the price to charge for it. Examples of what I'd like to see though are this chain ghost and also uh, something along the lines of this witch. Last but certainly not least is theming. So last year I think Astor actually did quite a cracking job with the theming or at least with how they set up, did the store displays actually really good and i still hope to get get my hands on one of them store display signs for my haunt this year um but yeah we can see on that um i love the little uh, candelabras they have between each aisles and also uh, uh how they decorated it all um but it all does come down to will they stick with the same theme in the happy halloween theme as they've done for many years right now um and i, and I think um this year might be potential for a change um, because most themes such as Big Shop of Horrors and also the original Halloween party theme, stuff like that, um, have had four years between them and this year marks four years since the banner was changed to that theme so uh, there's a there is potential there and also fingers crossed the packaging does get changed to that theme as well because we're still stuck with the 2017 theming for some reason but it really does need to change. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video here, and um, yeah, let you, let me know um, in the comments down below what you think what you think's possible for Asda this year. Personally, I'd really love to see um, many of these items from this list um, that I predicted um, come to Asda this year. I think it'd definitely uh, shine a whole new light on uh, um, the, the new items. Um, it it blasts um, last year out of the water, that's for sure. Fingers crossed we don't see anything, any uh, Sunstar life sizes again anytime soon, but yet again that really could be possible because um, prices for importing items from different countries have gone up and uh, I have, there's no doubt that has had an impact on the Halloween industry as a whole because um, take Costco for example, uh, the prices have really gone up on their items since let's say 2017. 
that really could be the reason behind Alistair struggling, possibly struggling to find a life size to keep up the 50, 60 pound price point. But regardless of what we get, there will be something for everyone this year. So uh, yeah, if you uh, like this video, please give us a like. Also subscribe to the channel as that really means a lot. And a huge thank you for helping me reach 2,100 subscribers. And um, we reached it over the night and we're on uh, a little over that now. So um, keep on subscribing, subscribing to the channel for loads of Halloween content from the UK, giving you all of the latest sneak peeks and reviews on the latest items. And uh, yeah, till the next video, this is your guide for all things spooky.